Friday and it's sunny and the weekend's coming and everything's going well, isn't it? Let's see, the radio today says that all the secondary schools um, are losing the requirements to wear masks. We've had the care home news last week, relaxing the regulations. Everything's going the right way. Apparently today we're also going to get some sort of list for the summer holiday um, where you're allowed to go and where you're not allowed to go in the summer on holidays. If you want to go anywhere that is, of course. What else is coming up? We've um, we've got a new issue coming out on the 1st of June, so it's it's our return to printing, June and July, very exciting. And we talked about Giles Torreira from Hamilton the other day, who played Aaron Burr, won the Olivier Awards. We've just also done an interview with Janie D, who's starring in the Curve Theatre in Leicester's production of Amdram which is a new musical and it's all about, guess what, the world of Amdram. And um, no shorter use there, there's all sorts of, I think people come up with ideas all the time to do things in Amdram. In fact, just that subject is a good um, idea for um, some sort of play or musical or something because um, we were originally going to have the idea to talk to Janie D about Amdram and then it was it was mentioned that it might be a better bet to talk to Laura Pitt Pulford, who's also in the cast. But and then it came through that Janie D had communication about it, and she was up for it. And so she, so our cover image has changed from Janie D to Laura Pitt Pulford, and back to Janie D again. And there must be something in there. There must be some sort of um, comedy to write or about about changing stuff with Amdram about who's starring in what or writing what it must there must be something funny about it imagine if a bunch of amateurs starred Burt Reynolds and then someone else came into the cast instead of Burt Reynolds then it went back to him then away from him then back to him yeah it'd be quite interesting wouldn't it there's, there's all sorts of stuff going on but anyway I'm sure you've got your own ideas so there we are um Keep doing Amdram. Amdram. It's, it sounds so derogatory, doesn't it, when you think of it? Amdram. It sounds like a comic book label or something we give to ourselves. Amateur theatre, Amdram, amateur dramatics. Amdram has got such connotations like the vicar with his trousers around his ankles running through the door, hasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear non-professional perhaps that's the way we should go forward grassroots non-professional blah 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 um yeah nudfer were on the phone to us the other day um emailed to us the other day they've got something going on um their um organist festival is not quite the same this year because there haven't been any plays to qualify in 2020 so they're going through their past winners and um, standout performances and they're inviting people to, along to it and they're having a bit of a festival um, and I mentioned grassroots because Ian Wainwright from the RSC is going to be there doing something so that's going to be interesting so is Dave Willits actually we've interviewed Dave Willits in the past and um, we've been invited up there so we might we might go up there and cover that that would be interesting Dave Willits of course was the first person to play both Jean Valjean and the Phantom of the Opera and he went from one to the other and he's never ever been trained and he came straight out of Amdram into the role of Jean Valjean isn't that fantastic couldn't do that today could you or you'd have to be one in ten million to do it today but he's um he's one of a kind Dave Willett's fantastic fantastic performer but there we go. These people are knocking around the amateur circuit all over the place. There's no shortage of talented people in amateur theatre. They just need honing, maybe a bit of technique, maybe a bit of attitude, training, that kind of thing. And um, Bob's your uncle. You, you've, you've all of a sudden got the next West End star. And straight out of amateur theatre. Why not? We say that to... Um, the drama schools and 
companies all the time that maybe want to get involved in sardines and maybe advertise or get editorially involved, that kind of thing. So, yeah, interesting. There we go. Have a fantastic weekend, won't you? All of you. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay, by the way, um, news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk. Keep sending those shout-outs in. We do one every day. So it's it's not easy to do one every day. We need a lot of stuff sent to us. So please keep sending your shows coming up or some stuff you've achieved. And uh, we'll go from there. But there'll be another one out today. So look out for that. Another shout-out today. Stay safe. Stay well. We will be back. And it looks like we're going to be back soon. See you later. Have a nice weekend. Bye.